Hello everybody, it's David here, Ireland Virtual Tours, and you're all very welcome to this video. And the video today is about Loch Crew and Loch Crew Cairns, located nearly at Old Castle County Mead. From Dublin, you will take the M3 to Kells, and then the M3 onward up the road, and you will see signposts before Old Castle for Loch Crew. Well worth a visit. An hour and 30 minutes to two hours, taking it easy, not going too mad. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down to the most famous of the, the lot of them. Actually, you more than likely will either come in this road or you come out one of these two roads from Old Castle. Now, I, to me, the place to start off would be here at Patrick's Town viewing point, right? And we're going to go down there firstly. And we're going to have a look at it. Uh, because there is a standing stone just above the road here. Okay? So you'll see the area, little, little parking area. And up to the right here is where you will be going. Um, up there and just over here is the standing stone. So have a look there, well worth it to start off with. And then get back in your old car and off we go down this way here. So we're going to come across here past, uh, well, we, we've just left here. We're going to go down to the end here and along this road here. And then we're going to take a right again. And we're going to follow this road and we're going to end up right here. And right here is where we have... A small car park, or else if you wanted to go down another couple of hundred, a couple of yards, we could go to the actual La Cruz Centre here and park here, right? And if you're going to stay overnight, it might be worth having a look at the caravan and camping park because there is a glamping area there as well. But what we'll do is we're going to show you because we're going to be walking back up here. There's a set of steps and then we'll be going along a bit of a gravel uh, pathway and then we're into a field and we're going to walk up the field to Cairn T and the area with all the different cairns on it and tell you a little bit about it. All right, so here we go. This is the way we do it and uh, up we're going to join here and at the top of the pathway along here. Now some fit people will go straight up this way but we're not. We're going to follow the stakes and right up to there. And I will show you now exactly where we go. Um, right up to here. And we sort of keep a left, follow the stakes again, and we come to a little uh, dike or ditch there. And this is the hardest part of the walk. It takes about a half an hour. Some people say about 10 minutes, but I always say it takes a half an hour. So through this ditch, and follow us around. That's where we came from is down there. And this is the probably the hardest part of it. So you have to be fairly fit to make it up. Like I wouldn't, if I wasn't fit, I would not be doing this uh, walk, right? But then again, some people might want to stroll up and just take it easy and you might make it. But definitely do not be pushing yourself if you don't think you can, okay? So you go on up there, follow the stakes and eventually we come right up to the top and this area here where um, Cairn T is located. So we're going to go in here to Cairn T. Now there is a gateway here, but we're going to go right over to the front of the Cairn T. And the Cairn being, um, I suppose, a burial tomb is the, is the best word for it. Or a burial mound. This isn't one. This isn't Cairn T. This is one of the ones as well. But unfortunately, the mound is nearly gone, and the circular stones that go around it are and you don't see they've fallen down. But you can see where the passage is there. Uh, we might just take a quick look at that, a closer look at that, before we go up to Cairn T. Now, we'll have a good look at it. See the way, see the way it's gone in there? So that's the way in. And a lot of the tombs have a three, there's three sort of rooms, if you want, or chambers within the centre of the mound. And you can 
can see it there. There's one main one. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's a, a couple off it there as well. And the main entrance being here. <coughs> Excuse me. With the main uh, stone uh, there as well. We'll just maybe move back from it a little bit and show it to you. So you've got a stone there. And that's very similar to what they have in... Um, the one of the largest uh, cairns in Ireland, and that's at Newgrange, right? So we'll have a look back. This is Cairn T here, right? So you can see it's, it's significantly bigger than this smaller cairn here, and it also does have a pa uh, passage right into the, the center of it there. We'll take a quick nip over to it, and you see the gate. Now, the gate at the moment is closed, all right? And that is due to winter time. And what you would do if you were here touring in winter, you would go down to the megalithic center, to Lockrew Center, and you would pick up the key, and they would give you the key, and you could come up and have a look at it yourself. Okay, that's pretty neat. Now, one thing, don't walk on top of it, or don't take any of the stones, because it is bad luck. It is bad luck to, uh, to uh, take some of the stones away. But uh, yeah, Loch Crew, really cool place. Um, there are other ones that you see. It's it's uh, there's a whole area. The hills around here are called are called Slave Nakali, 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 and basically Kailuk is a witch, and it would be the sleeve of the witches, the mountains, mountain of the witches. And the folklore has it that a witch, big witch came along here with an apron on her and she filled up her apron with stones and she dropped them down. But she missed St. Patrick's Hill and she was subsequently fell to her death. Uh, folklore is brilliant. I love folklore. Um, lots of, lots of different, different history about it, but I don't want to go through it too much. You know, because you can learn yourself when um, when you actually get here. It's a great, great uh, place to go and see. Okay, I'll give you a little, little quick, quick bit of uh, of history on it. Um, they say it's about three thousand three hundred years old, and that was uh, nah, actually BC. That would be plus the, the two thousand that we've lived since. Uh, the Anno Domini started, and uh, so that's about 5,300 years old, right? And as I say, it's located near Old Castle in County Meath, and it takes about an hour and a half to two hours from Dublin along the M3 and the N3, and you should make it here. Um, no comprehensive dating has been done on the site, but in 1980, a gentleman came along and um, he made this, oh, what would I call it? Uh, he, he made a discovery at Loch Crew, and he, the discovery was that the main cairns, actually, the, the, the doorways into them, right, the main cairns, that is, um, they were directed and received the beams of the sun rising on the autumnal and spring equinoxes. So it's pretty interesting here if you, if you are in Ireland in March or, or September and uh, you get a chance to go here maybe to see it uh, early in the morning at sunrise, uh, you might be lucky to uh, be able to see inside in the tomb, the passage of the tomb and the interior of the tomb actually lit up by natural light. It's pretty, pretty neat. Neat. It's uh, similar to uh, what happens in Newgrange. In Newgrange, you have the winter uh, solstice, and a lot of people come to do that as well. Now, around the area, like as I say, there are four hills. Uh, this one is Carbane West. There's Carbane East. There's Carrickbrack, and there's Patrickstown Hill, where we started at. So. It's definitely, definitely worth a, worth a look. Now, as I say, the, the, it's worth about maybe 20 minutes, half an hour up here and take a few photographs. Depending on the time of day, you get fantastic light there as well. Now, the other, the other areas are just down from it and across the way here. This is the other area. This is Carbain East and, and, and Carrick Brack, right? And again, you could walk the extra few couple of hundred yards from the car park here or from the megalithic center there as well. Now, dotted around the area, 
are, are you know it's amazing like uh, there's a there's a ring fort here that would have been probably about a thousand two thousand years old another little one here there are a lot of of um of uh, megalithic areas around this particular area as well steeped in history and i think you'll enjoy it i've gone on for 10 minutes i don't normally go on for 10 minutes but i hope you enjoyed it um this uh, video and uh if you if you got anything out of it please tell me in the comments and uh, i would really really appreciate it and above all it would be great if you liked and you subscribe liked the video and shared the video and even subscribed because we will be doing more of these information videos and looking forward to doing them very very much in the future so it's david here and i'm logging off for now and let you go and uh, we'll see you very very soon in the future and thank you very much and you be safe take care thanks <laughs>